Are we really brothers? Brother and Curse. 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 Are we really brothers? Would you tell me? Yeah. Brothers in Curse. Red Band coming to you live from Death Squad Studios for a brand new episode of Brothers in Curse. Here is David Lucas and William Montgomery. Yeah, what's up, guys? What's up? We got William Montgomery here, and we got uh, Joel Osteen's parents, <laughs> Mr. Larry Osteen and, and Pamela Osteen. Could y'all, <laughs> could y'all introduce y'all uh, See, he sounds just like Joel. Hey, brother. <laughs> <laughs> this is Larry Montgomery, William's pop. And this is Francis. Y'all aren't Joel Osteen's parents? No. Uh, we are s- not. Y'all sound like him a little bit. We don't. Can you imagine the money y'all would have if y'all were Joel Osteen's parents? Uh, How old is he? I say Joel Osteen's probably early 40s, late 50s. Y'all could have had him had y'all been on some black stuff, like in high school. I'm 59. He's 56. I couldn't have had him. Oh, y'all couldn't have had Joel Osteen? No. You could have been his girlfriend. <laughs> Could have. <laughs> oh my God. Oh, there he is. I forgot him. And Mr. Larry, Mr. Larry stole you from Joel Osteen. Okay, I have, I have something to say. Uh oh. I have a present for Red Band. Uh oh. What is it? He pulls out a gun and I get two <laughs> sh- <laughs> shots right in the face. Two and deodorant. <laughs> Where should I put it? Uh oh. Just hand it to him. Yeah, Talk man. about it. Unless it's something. What? Oh. What is that? Oh, hilarious. <laughs> Look what she got me. She got my, my own uh, enema. <laughs> 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 oh my god wow can we give this to william like live tonight right on the show would you be willing to what uh, put it, it in my bottom on the thing tonight no but Hell i no. tried to get you one but i only had one left uh, thank god <laughs> what's so funny is that i actually was going to do the same thing for you i was going to bring one for <laughs> well i really did <laughs> Great. Well, she sent me into the store to buy it. Yeah, oh my I, was, God. I was embarrassed to buy it. And well, I said, get the biggest one that uh, <laughs> William, does your stomach hurt when you see those? Yes, <laughs> it does. Oh and I couldn't, I couldn't find them, so I had to ask the Bro, I thought, oh, you're a drink. <gasps> He's disgusted. <laughs> it's a drink, right? <laughs> Red Man is disgusted. I thought you brought in some body wash. No. <laughs> A true story. When I was a kid, uh, I saw something like this. I think it was a douche, though, yeah. in my t- mom's trash can. And I thought it was a cool bottle, so I put my Kool-Aid in it. And my mom goes, what are you drinking? <laughs> oh, my gosh. <laughs> nah, bro. I, I did something like that, too, bro. I saw the... I saw the uh, my grandmama didn't have a shower head at her house. So I saw the douche bottle in the um, shower. So I put water in it and like, used it as a shower head. So I'm like, it reminded me of like a Kool Aid jammer. You know? Yeah, that's what I. <laughs> uh, yeah, I made my Kool Aid taste a little burnt. Yeah. <laughs> made it taste like salmon. <laughs> How'd you like that flounder Kool Aid? <laughs> y'all are bad. Yes, we are. I'm surprised y'all agreed to come on here. Y'all... Oh my God! Well, I can always go sit right there. <laughs> if it gets too much, I think Mr. Larry can. You have to talk right there. I I think Mr. Larry can hold on. He you know he, he did, can. Yeah yeah yeah. I've uh, I've seen what he tells Will. When I'm Will... only only drinking two beers this episode. They're mad I'm even drinking two. But... That's correct. Oh yeah, but you know, baby steps, baby boy, baby steps, I know. baby boy. You know that gift she gave Red Band. That's public enema number one. <laughs> Get it? <laughs> they aren't laughing. <laughs> He's faking. No, bro. That, I cannot believe we let him get away with that. <laughs> That's actually funny. Public enema number one. <laughs> you had to think about it. No, I knew, what it, I knew where he was going when I heard him say it, I, but that's pretty, that's pretty funny. That is hilarious. How's your week been so far? Has, has William been, uh, been a good boy this week? Or? He has. Yeah, he's been good. He's stayed with us several nights. We've had some good home cooked oh. meals at the hotel. Yeah, it gets we a little have crowded. A gets oh, a little wow. crowded in the we bed. We have a fabulous place. I hate. Um, I the next time you come, I'm gonna try to free my schedule. Up. I just so I, all Dev Digital just came back. Company that I worked for a year or two ago. 
um, and they just now started back. So I had to film with them like all this week. I had mm-hmm. to get that money. You know? That's good. Yeah. That's great. Well, next time because we're coming back soon. Yeah, I'm coming to Memphis this summer with Will. Good. Yeah. Okay, That'd be good. fun. That would be fun. But we've had fun. We. Oh, uh, gosh. What's this? That's a Sun's real. That's enema. a real enema. Yeah. That's a shower enema. <laughs> What, have y'all? Did y'all go sightseeing? Did you take y'all any hikes? We went to uh, Paramount yesterday. Paramount Studios? The tour? Yeah. yeah. On the tour. Uh, and I've never it done was, that. That was okay. It, it was okay. Yeah. What you sort of end up doing is... Being stuck in traffic. Well, no. Well, <laughs> they take you in golf carts around the studio lots, but you're sort of just seeing buildings, and they say, here's where they filmed Lucy, gotcha. or here's where they filmed... Gotcha. Yeah. It, it was fine. It, it was fine. It gets good reviews, though. Really? Yeah. I mean, look, it just has. It gets four and a half stars. Do y'all travel? <laughs> y'all travel, like, internationally? Occasionally. Where do y'all go? We Listen. have had to take care of these children. Still? Yeah, we're hoping at well, some point. Well, not still. <laughs> oh, okay. We still have one that's... Oh, the youngest one who's about to graduate. He's not at home, but he's, we still have one that's pretty young. No, I get it. My mom still um, send me stuff. So you're from Georgia? Yes, sir. What I part? I was raised in Macon, Georgia. I was raised mainly in Atlanta. ATL. Yeah. Yeah. What part? Uh... Now everybody says everything is Buckhead, but it was, you know, where, are you familiar with Atlanta? Yes, I Kind of weird, near Lenox Square. Okay, so that's Buckhead. That, like, oh, that yeah, area. Yeah, that's Buckhead, Phipps Plaza, all that. It's close to that's that. That's Buckhead, sort of. yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I was just in Atlanta a couple of weeks ago. Um, I did um, was the Punchline, the Punchline with Eric Griffin. Yeah, that's so great you're traveling with him. Uh, yes, sir. Will's about to be on the road next. Watch. Good, yeah. good. We, you know, we're getting him ready to be a superstar. <laughs> He's Ain't that right, Will? <laughs> I don't know. I have a bad feeling. Ain't no, about I don't it. know. Get the fuck out of here. Don't have a bad feeling. I have a bad feeling about it. Why? I don't want to tell you right now. Oh, gosh. Did, did just... your parents see that red dot? Yeah, what's going on with that red dot? I actually looked at the red dot. What is it? I think it's syphilis. But, <laughs> That's no, what I'm thinking. I mean, could it be? No. I'm, yes, it could be. It's getting worse every week. Look, it's put, not bad at all. Put it's a just picture a little, up there of what it looks like. Of syphilis? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We did. Yeah. It like so much came back. General awards. I have yeah. been uh, having a bunch of unprotected sex, so it oh could gosh. easily could Stop. be. Stop. Don't just say all this. Yeah, in I'm name. serious. I wanted to get Stop. y'all in here and Stop. admit that to y'all. Okay. <laughs> yeah. I mean, how did William get here? He didn't get here from protected sex. <laughs> Or maybe what? somebody put a hole in the car. Oh, yeah. shit. Uh-uh. Oh, no. Didn't y'all used to call me, or Mimi used to call me Little Loopy because y'all went to the Mexican restaurant and I was conceived that night and it was called Loopy? <laughs> Look at it. Yeah. I, I, have, I do not recall any of that. Mama had a burrito and a Cadillac margarita. <laughs> <laughs> Spicy bean dip. <laughs> <laughs> but you do sh- should get that checked. It's, it's getting better. Look, it doesn't look bad. It's getting better. David, we need to call your. F- who can we call in your family? My mom, but she's not with the shits. She's sort of, but yeah. she's got to be proud of you for. She, yeah, doing but what my mom's doing. different. She don't really care that I do comedy. My parents raised me to be like a lawyer or something. Well, that's what we raised him to be. Not a comedian, so she doesn't really care about my comedy career. Nah, she's got to be proud of you. Nah. No, see, see, that's <laughs> not what we wanted him to do, but he doesn't listen to us. Yeah. I do. Um, I got a lot of fans. My aunt who passed was a big fan of mine. She believed in me a lot. Uh, when I was getting ready to move to L.A., um, she uh, basically was like, I'm glad you're doing this because I wanted to be a fashion designer, but your grandparents took me the medical route. So she's like, I'm glad you're doing that. Well, good. So, yeah. So, I, I mean, I got, um, my mom don't really care. My granddaddy who just died, he was a pretty big fan. Like, he supported me a lot. Um, my uncles. Uh, but, I mean, I come from a uh, a family of, like, business owners. Uh, yeah. Real estate developers, lawyers, politicians. That's great. So, police chiefs. So, you know, when someone goes left field and they say comedy, acting, mm-hmm. it's like, what? Well, we understand completely. <laughs> you know, my mom was mad because you like, I put you in private school. You know, so. That's the exact same thing you <laughs> say. <laughs> what are you going to do when your mom comes here? What are y'all going to do? 
Um, we gonna chill. My mama really come to LA to relax. Um, she uh, she uh, she sleeps a lot because she's she's very busy when she's back home. I mean, she's been out here several times, so she don't really need to go sightsee and stuff. I have a, a special needs uncle. Uh, ever since my granddaddy died, he can't be uh, left home alone. So my mom's gonna bring him out here for the first time. So I'll probably show him like. To the beach, yeah, the mm-hmm. Hollywood stars, and just take him out, have a good time. That's good. my boy. I was uh, very involved with him and his organizations a lot growing up, like the Special Olympics and stuff. Good. Having good. a special needs uncle. So, yeah, he'll be here. Might bring him on the podcast. He's hilarious. I, I, rec- would... I re- recommend checking out the Huntington Gardens. Uh, it's in, in Pasadena. Pasadena. Yeah. It's awesome. It's, <clears throat> it's like 10 different gardens. Each garden is like different like so one's like a jungle atmosphere so you feel like you're in the jungle and then now it's like an asian garden and then it's uh you know swamps you know yeah that'll and, fucking keep him busy for a week well, yeah. we need to do that <laughs> and it's a, it's got a cool it's got cool museums like there's so many paintings in these museums that you're like i know that's blue boy it's a famous you know painting uh also malibu like a lot of people s- skip on point malibu doom. point doom is where yeah. i my favorite mm-hmm. i always uh, see yeah. whales and sea lions when i go to point yeah. Doom because you can't really swim over there Mm-hmm. Yeah, you can't ride boats, so like the marine life comes right there. I hate I when people to... like come to LA and they're like, "I didn't like LA much." And I'm like, "What you do?" I'm like, "Hanging out at the Hollywood Walk of Fame." Yeah, and, idiot! And... You saw a whole bunch of crackheads. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. I got a syringe bunch, in my foot. Whole bunch of fat Spider Man. <laughs> William's being so quiet. I know. Come on, he's man. scared. <laughs> yeah, yeah, y'all throw me off. You, you should see the rager he's going to do when you guys leave. <laughs> no, it's <laughs> yeah, bro. Uh, interview your parents. Let's ask them some stuff that you've always wanted to ask them. Let me think. Uh, speaking um, of, I got uh, sponsored by a new vape company, LA Vape Co. I got the hat on right now. They sent me a whole bunch of cool stuff. That's great. Yeah, nice. it's perfect for you. Yeah, man. You know, the magic <laughs> you, got some new, uh, you hadn't even been d- done it yet. Cause I didn't really want to vape in front of you. I can. Yeah, do one. All right. Can you get secondhand vape smoke? Nah, it's just okay. you can't even get secondhand smoke. They're just. <laughs> Let me say this. I'm gonna turn this into a joke one day. The first picture me and my granddaddy, who's deceased, had together, he had a cigar in his mouth when I was like two days old, mm-hmm. and he was holding me. <laughs> oh yeah. Well, that was. <laughs> we and that's why you vape. <laughs> that's why. Like. We used to go on trips. And my dad smoked, and all the windows in the car would be up. Yeah, I remember that. You'd go eight hours. It was horrible. With smoke filling I, the car. I, I believe the cigarette. I, be, I believe cigarette smoke makes kids stronger. Because these kids <laughs> nowadays are weak. They need to be smoked in front of. There Do you guys go. remember that, smoking on an airplane? I always thought yeah. that. Even when the, yes. that was around, I thought that was weird. It's like, yeah. they, there's no windows. It's smoky in here. What the heck? And yeah. it wasn't that long ago, really. And the men yeah. wore suits and stuff on airplanes. Yeah. It was crazy. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. William, what's some questions? William, do you yeah, do that? Yeah, I'm trying that? to. I'm a big vapor now. Please don't. <laughs> you don't need to add anything else. Watch. <laughs> <laughs> Is that legitimate? Yeah. It looks legitimate. <laughs> no. I, can't, I can't even do that, probably. Ugh, don't do that. Oh! <laughs> Oh smells so Yeah, what do you just get used to it? Yeah. Don't do it again. And also, my lung capacity is pretty good. Uh, let me show y'all something. I've been Look hitting. Look what it gym. did to his eyes. I've been hitting the gym. <laughs> oh my gosh. I've been hitting the gym pretty hard. You see that? You see how many calories I burn on the treadmill? Five hundred. Yeah. Very good. That's yeah. very good. Well, that's three steps for you, probably. Yeah. There we go. <laughs> Red band. <laughs> I should challenge you to a triathlon. No. We just left. joined the gym today. Yeah, we just I left the gym, the gym today. Which one? Did you do on LA Fitness? Mm-hmm. Okay, and do you know someone recognized him? Which one y'all at? <laughs> Universal City? There's one pretty close to here. What, Burbank or Glendale? Yeah. Dope stuff, yeah. bro. The, yeah. one that, the one that I go to uh, over there by the Universal uh, Studios. Is that uh, a good one? Yeah, yes, good one. but the problem is there's too many Kill Tony fans in there. Really? Yes. Is there really? Oh, really? Yes. So they bother you the whole time? I work out. I pull my hoodie over now. But, like, the first few times, because I, I switched my membership, I was at 24, then I went to Equinox, and then I went to LA Fitness. And so uh, at Equinox, everybody is famous. You know, it's like one of those high-end gyms where you'll see wow. Jason Derulo working out. <laughs> and so it's like to see a David Lucas is like, oh, there's 
Vin Diesel right there. Why do I need to talk to David Lucas? Uh-huh. You know? uh-huh. So it was a little bit better. But at LA Fitness, you got like the coming up stars. You <laughs> might see one or two stars. Uh-huh. <clears throat> But that's really like everybody's like becoming a star and right. gradually rising. But yeah, yeah, it was um... the person at LA Fitness. They said uh, recognized William and also didn't believe that he was actually signing up. Like, so he knew they Seriously? even knew that. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> they thought it yep. was a joke. Did you know a lot of the things he tells y'all that you think is a lie? It's the truth. That are lies. It's absolutely the truth, and y'all don't believe him. So he used to really flip Hondas. No, oh, not that. Yes. But <laughs> but there are things that y'all don't believe that. Like, do you, do you know one that we that, that comes to mind? Well, hold on. It. Well, you know what he did to me one time. This was a nightmare. What? No, a true nightmare. I was at, I was going to my little garden club thing, teaching people how to propagate begonias, <laughs> and I get. Can we get a definition on that, please? Propagate. propagate. How to reproduce. Reproduce, uh, probably. Uh, no, listen to this story. Breed. Oh, breed. Oh, okay. So, like, clip a piece off and put it in the yes, dirt? Yes, of begonias. And <laughs> um, I get this phone call from one of my neighbors saying, you better come home right now. There are two police cars in front of your house, and they are asking if you know William Montgomery. Well, the whole way home, I cried. I could hardly breathe. <laughs> no, it was... Truly a nightmare. A I, call, nightmare. I called him up at the office and said, get home, something horrible has happened. You said the police are meeting us at our house about William, so I That's true. I knew he was dead. Don't talk. <laughs> it was absolutely horrible. And when we get there, my neighbors are all standing to gawk at me. And I said to the police, is he dead? And... He, the police said he was trapped in a cave in Middle Tennessee. Trapped in a cave in Middle Tennessee. <laughs> and Yeah, they did, really, seriously. Well, what? when it was horrible. And when they said he's trapped in a cave in Middle Tennessee, I knew it was a lie. I said, I'm so relieved. He is a comedian, and he makes th- that, he's made it up. You told that to the police? No, what, here's what happened. He, he <clears> had <throat> a Kill Tony show and then went home and had a beer. And he accidentally called someone and told him that he was trapped in a cave in Middle Tennessee and oxygen was running low. That person called the L.A. cops. The L.A. cops called the Memphis cops. Oh, my God. Yeah. (laughs) It was was horrible. (laughs) And so she calls me and says, the police are meeting us about William at our house. And I'm, I'm a little ashamed to say, but the whole time I was thinking, if we have to go back and fetch all his shit in L.A., where am I going to park a truck? <laughs> that's literally what I was thinking about. And that's horrible. That's horrible. <laughs> and I was calling my other children up. Just I was just, I could hardly drive home. I remember Papa was crying when he talked to me when y'all finally got me on the phone, and you weren't. It seemed like you should have sounded a little more sad. Oh, I was. I had cried the whole way home. Why did you do that? Yeah, it was after he killed Tony. Who's this guy that would call the cops, though? Who is this guy? I don't know. It was somebody on my phone. I was just making phone calls, and it was somebody who I thought was a comedian well, friend someone... from Denver, but it turned out to be some random guy in Texas. <laughs> and yeah, Gosh. I told him I was in an underwater cavern system in Middle Tennessee. My oxygen was running low, and I was in an air bubble. And, and that's what the cops <laughs> thought was the situation. And why would he think to call you? No, well, William I called, called him me thinking up. it was Excuse somebody me. else. I mean, why would he think you would call him if you're in an emergency? That, I don't know. Man, what a dumbass that guy. <laughs> yeah. Like, yeah, if right. You, if I you don't called know. me and told me you were trapped in a cave, I'd be like, "Nigga, fucking call the cops." <laughs> you think I'm gonna come <laughs> rescue your ass? Yeah, why didn't you just call the cops? <laughs> I'd be like, "Will, I have nothing to do with that. I'm, I'm not a spoolunker." Yeah, that's right. <laughs> that's right. Hey, right, so Will told me a story about uh, you. He said about what was it ten years ago? He came into the house at 2 o'clock in the morning after he had just had sex with a chick at the bar. Oh, gosh. And you asked him, what? is he gay? <laughs> Don't. Yeah, do you remember that? Uh, I do not it remember It was that. late at night. Yeah, I didn't know where you said, William, are you gay? You forgot about that? I did forget about why that. Why would you have said that? Yeah, why would you have said that? I'm glad we're talking about it. I wouldn't have thought. It would have been uh, perfectly okay. <laughs> <laughs> if you were. But I don't recall asking you that. I wonder why you did. Oh, gosh. I do not know. 
This is just. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you do kind of come across like a, like a bear or something like that, you know, like. <laughs> <laughs> All of y'all got the same like little diction and yeah, same yeah. phrases. Very interesting. Same tones. From the Nightmare. same place. Nightmare. Nightmare. He got that from me. Yeah, you stole that from your mom. You better get him some Did credit, I? bro. Well, I always say this is a true story <laughs> about to, in a nightmare. It's totally positive. Which one do you guys say that? Uh, I'm the guy who always says everything's positive. Because he always uses that. Always yeah. Does. And be quite frank. I think he gets that from me. <laughs> who says shut it down? Not, neither one of us. Uh, that's his own thing. Yeah. yeah. Who what says, about flashback? Flashback? I or don't, cut I don't scene. Say who that. says cut, cut scene? We didn't, that's Hollywood oh, okay. stuff. It's Hollywood stuff. We'll, we'll learn that on his own. <laughs> Do y'all want to hear my jokes? I was ready Let's for hear in case it. I y'all. Can't wait. Can't wait. Okay, let me see. They're all dumb. <laughs> now you send these jokes a lot to William, and William never tends to use these. He jokes. never uses my <laughs> jokes. And there's a reason why. Mr. Larry, send them to me. I will. I've got a good one for you all right, that I'm going to give you <laughs> seriously because I don't think I can do it. <laughs> Does it have the N word in it? No. <laughs> Nancy Reagan. <laughs> right. Okay, I'll start with the crappiest one first, okay, let's and I won't take up your whole show. No, take up the whole show. Okay, yeah, it's fine. Types of apples: R- Red Delicious, Fuji, Golden Delicious, Granny Smith. What the hell did Granny Smith have to do to get an apple named after her? All okay, right. that's See, joke it's number. Not funny. <laughs> It's not funny. He does these things and he thinks they're funny and we just stare at it. Here's joke number two. There's a good rapper from Memphis. His name is Moneybag Yo. I might have to sue him for copyright infringement because his rap name is confusingly similar to mine. Colostomy Bag Yo. Um. <laughs> Stop. Stop. You're not going to read any How do you album. know Moneybag Yo? First of all, how do you know... I'm from Memphis. Oh, God. That's why he know Project Pat. I enjoy rapping music. The 3-6 three, <laughs> the three, six It's mafia. called rap music, not rapping. <laughs> oh, okay. Let's hear another one. Stop it, Larry. No, keep going, Mr. Larry. Yeah, it's all right. Keep going. It's I love awful. It. I love yeah, it. I love it. Did y'all hear about Steven Spielberg's daughter is now doing porn? Yeah. Uh, I've looked at some of her coming films, and I can see her dad's influence, but they're still disturbing. Uh... One is the Poonies instead of the Goonies. Uh, Y'all are are faking. I know this is funny. The Poonies. Here's another one. Catch VD if you can. I like it. Uh, My groin is the color purple because he did the color purple, Steven Spielberg. Yeah, that, but it would be porn. That one was. Uh, <laughs> and then last but not least, Men in Back, because he did Men in Black. It's porn. <laughs> it's it's porn. Let's get another one. Stop. Yeah, that's another one. No, just stop let him. now, Miss Francis. Come on, him. Mama, stop. Yes, I love this, Miss Francis. Mama, stop. Here's here's my last one. Oh Where my th- God! Take that shit off. <laughs> oh, <no>. Take- <laughs> <laughs> I, I actually found out The Poonies is actually a real movie with Ginger Lynn. Are you serious? <laughs> well, I'll tell you, I, I wrote a bunch of others with my youngest son, and we looked them up, and they were all actually movies. Here, wow. read those. Read some of those. Uh-uh, uh-uh. Okay. No. Let's uh, hear, let's hear uh, some... Here's my last joke. All right. Okay. Where the hell is the apostrophe? That's what I say every time I go to uh, Popeye's oh, Fried gosh. Chicken. That's just, he, they don't even get that. It's Will, so that's where you get your don't delivery. understand that. Will, that's where you get your delivery. <laughs> There's no apostrophe in Popeyes, but there should oh. be. That's a little... <laughs> William, I wish you would do that whole set. No, like, that, I, no he's right. It'd be fun. Because it's Popeyes well, here, give chicken. Him, give it's him po- the notes. No, it's Popeyes chicken showing possession. It's not plural yeah. chicken. It's Popeyes We yeah. talk. We talk about it. All no, I, I it totally, makes sense. That it's is logical. Slogan. It's too logical for comedy, though. That's about the only thing I ever talk about. You at do. Home. You do real well on the art scene. Yeah. You what? is that for <laughs> retarded people? No, it's like uh, like people who uh, hipsters and oh. people who uh, white people with dreadlocks. Oh, okay. Yeah, I don't know a lot of people like that. Yeah, you but, wouldn't in Memphis. 
Yeah. Here's the poonies. Yikes. Okay. Miss Francis, have you ever caught Mr. Larry? There's no, there's no nudity. There's no nudity. Oh, okay. <laughs> have, you, have you ever caught uh, Mr. Larry or William watching porn? No. Oh, nice. I mean, you, he wouldn't dare. No? <laughs> uh-uh. No. So, so how does he know about the poonies? <laughs> I thought yeah. I made it up. <laughs> I went down Spielberg's movies, and I thought gotcha. I made it up, okay. but apparently I didn't. Well, did you watch porn up in the house? Do you remember, Mama? I think oh, I was gosh. maybe five or... I don't even want to hear. I was maybe don't five tell. or six, and uh, Trace left his back massager down in the bathroom, and I remember showing Vance... This my, is a true story, and it's a nightmare. My brother Vance and my kidding. two cousins. The door was shut and everything, and you come in, and I'm showing him that if you put the massager Stop. on your penis, it feels real good. <laughs> <laughs> and we're all sitting in a circle, and you just come in. That was awkward. It was Yikes. awful. That was bad. That was true. That was really What do you uh, think? Hor- what are you even thinking when that's happening? Horrified. What yeah. are you thinking, though? And I got rid of that thing. Did you? Yes. You never found no new magazines? Man. We've been, I, I mean, we I can guarantee. We, oh, we do have one nude magazine story. Back years ago. This was before we were married. Yeah. And it's not a good story, but we wanted to see Madonna in the penthouse. Uh, Penthouse Playboy. Playboy. Well, do you know, that's when, like, at 7-Eleven type stores, they sold them. and They put the black on it. We would sit out in the parking lot and discuss who was going to go buy it, and we were both so embarrassed to buy it. Yeah, I had to muster my courage, and I go in there, and then I, like, turn around. I just couldn't do it, but I finally uh, did it. But where did y'all meet at? Church? Uh, no. What? Was a, it on the hit movie Twister when you were on? Uh, you played the lead in Twister, right? The movie Twister. Who? Me? What? Oh. Who? Mama. Oh. What? Aren't you Helen Hunt? Well, do you've got a Twister story? <laughs> Where'd y'all meet? Why y'all? Uh, <laughs> we guys? we met in a in a bar. What a fun where they play blues music and stuff. Oh, y'all like mm-hmm. blues? Yeah. Yeah. A lot. We I have like, great music. You like BB King? Yeah. Love. Don't open the door? Yeah. Yeah. Don't we, open the door, baby. I mean, we play great music in our house all the time. I have a question. Uh, are lemons baby limes? Is Nate, look. No. Hold on. Are limes baby lemons? No. Okay. Red Band found the answer to uh, Granny Smith. It's named after Maria Ann Smith. So this is like the last few days of Black History Month. Y'all got any interesting Black uh, History Month facts? Um, We have a nice civil rights museum in Memphis. Have you ever been to it? No. It's good. It's good. It's where Martin Luther King got shot. He, uh, what's the lady name? The black lady who y'all had? Imogene. Y'all used to lock her in the closet, I heard? Heavens no. We loved Imogene more than anything. Well, why you be lying? No, I do do remember... They there's a guy, uh, th- there's a guy named Emmy, who would come over every now and again and clean up the yard. And when I was a little boy, I said to Emmy, "My mom doesn't want to pay you because she says all you're going to do is go buy liquor at the liquor store." <laughs> and she heard me from outside the door and slammed me into the wooden bed really hard. And she was no, so I did mad. Not. We were in the hallway, <laughs> and I almost died because I wanted him to finish the job, so I was going to pay him the next day. And he was three when he said that. And I hear William just telling him that, and I almost died. <laughs> Ooh. Hey, sometimes drug addicts are the best. My mom, I, it's not a good thing, but she hires a lot of uh, drug addicts to do work on her houses, like cutting grass and taking her and, taking her uh, wiring out of her house. Well, you know, they, they damn near made that where it doesn't even make sense for you to do it anymore. Oh, yeah, they should. Yeah. That's ridiculous. Yeah. What? what are y'all talking about? They the were, wiring so out of the if you own, like, rental properties, crackheads would come steal, like, uh, your wiring, like your like yeah, the copper. The yeah, copper. the copper. Yeah. That should have cost you $30,000, and they'll get, like, five hundred. But yeah. it cost you, like, $30,000 <laughs> mm-hmm. in damage. Yeah. Yep. Yep. <laughs> of course. I guess the new thing now is just taking uh, like molars out of homeless people. It's easier and it's what? more money. What? Yeah. God. Red Bay, get the fuck out of here. <laughs> How do you do that? Just pin them down yeah, and grab them. Pliers. Where, get pliers. Where have you heard that shit? I just made that shit. Oh. <laughs> do, do y'all follow boxing? Some. Oh. Yeah. Did y'all see the, uh, the um, Deontay Wilder versus uh, Tyson Fury fight? I didn't see the fight. Saw the results. Saw it. 
uh, Tyson Fury, what, licking blood? Or, uh, yeah, that was dope. Freak. I'm a big Tyson Fury fan. I do not like Deontay Wilder because I'm half Cuban, and he beat Luis Ortiz, who is the most technical. You're half Cuban? Yes, my dad is Cuban. Well, that's cool. Wow. Yeah, yeah. So uh, Deontay Wilder beat the most uh, technical boxer, technical heavyweight boxer, Luis Ortiz. Was that the big, real nice guy, Ortiz? He's, you can't understand anything he says. He barely speaks English. But isn't he a, sort of a big He's, he's a big not guy. Real he's like cut. six five. Yeah. He's not real cut. He's just big. That's is that him. who I'm thinking of? Maybe. Yeah. Black dude, curly hair. No, this is a uh, Latino guy. I'm thinking of. Well, he's a, he's a black Latino. Oh, okay. Yeah, I'm not sure. But uh, <clears throat> there's Tyson Fury. He has a dad bod. Uh, he but does. he beat the shit out of Deontay Wilder, and now Deontay Wilder's camp has so many excuses, and I'm just like, dude. They, he's saying his legs were weak because of the forty pound suit, and it's like, bro, you're a pro athlete. Yeah, I a saw for, that. Uh, 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 what about the forty pound? What he had a forty pound suit on. See if you can pull that up, Red Man. Uh, Deontay Wilder's suit, his walkout. Yeah, suit. It's uh, like, bro, you, you had a forty pound suit on for seven minutes. Do you not do leg day? Get the fuck out of here. You know what I'm saying? Was it a cool looking suit? It was dope. I think he said Deontay Wilder's. I think he said the suit uh, cost like forty grand. Had something to do with Black History Month. Yeah, didn't it? see, look at it. Look at that. Pretty sweet. Looks like a superhero. He looks yeah, like look he looks like that. Shredder from Ninja Turtles. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> How do you do all this so fast? Uh, He's a pro. Typewriters. Yes. Do you remember the time that <laughs> William said our address and you pulled up our house? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, let's not say Yeah, I don't know if you should even bring that up. Don't bring that up because these uh-huh. people will go look for it. We're going to have to uh, edit that out. Yeah. Yeah. Now, that, now that this is popular, they will go look oh, okay. for that shit. Yeah. But luckily, uh, she didn't say anything. Yeah, and plus yeah, you guys moved They'll go then. find the episode. Yeah. 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 But uh, yeah, his, his, um, his camp is making so many excuses. He fired the guy that I feel saved his life or saved permanent brain damage. He, one of his trainers... Threw in the towel because he was getting yeah. beat so bad, and he fired the guy. Wow. Oh, did he? And it's like, bro, after your ear was bleeding, every hit after that was brain damage. Yeah. So why would you? Too much heart. Not enough. Look at him. He doesn't even have a champion body, but I love him. Bringing fat guys back in. <laughs> he's only thirty one. He looks forty five. Yeah. He's thirty one. Thirty one, bro. He's younger than you, Will. Damn. He's put, he's, he doesn't wear that tie right. Like he needs to put a collar shirt. On. <laughs> Look at him. Look how big he is. That's a big. He's six nine. Yeah, he's big. They're trying to say something about his gloves flopping like that. You see how the glove flop? Yeah. They're trying to bring some mess up about that. It's yeah. like, come on. What are they this. saying about the glove? That he didn't uh, have it on right because you're supposed oh, to have wow. gloves on a certain way, and they're trying to say he was using it like as a swatting instead of. Punching, mm-hmm. which I feel like swatting would be less damaging. Exactly. Yeah. That's, what I was thinking. <laughs> That's the world champion now. He should beat uh, Anthony Joshua next. Did y'all really put Imogene in the closet? Shh. Oh yeah, he really did. You? He told me no. you did that. No. no. You can't whisper. Right. It's yeah. the, it's <laughs> the well, don't you remember when I found Imogene's teeth in Selden's mouth? Yeah, oh, yeah. He, told, that. he told us about that oh, okay. on the That's uh, true. San Francisco trip. That is true. <laughs> so she lived with y'all? She lost her bridge. And the next morning I went in and he was in the baby bed and I could see him chewing on something and it was her teeth. Oh, he should have taken a photo of that. Yeah. Oh, my God. <laughs> that is disgusting. Mm-hmm. Will loved him. Imogene. Imogene. I wonder what she's up to. I saw her not long ago. Where'd you see her? At Popeye's making biscuits. <laughs> <laughs> How she look? <laughs> Big? No. Fluffy? No. I remember she liked the show Mr. Bean. What is that? The guy who doesn't talk. The English comedian, but he never says anything. Oh, Mr. Bean. Yeah. Yeah. She did? Yeah, she used to love Mr. Bean. Do you remember the time I came home and said, what is the horrible chemical smell? They were like, William was like six years old, five years old, and I walked in the front door and I said, Imogene, have the pest control people been here today? And she said, no. And it gets stronger and stronger. William and his friend had gotten the can of off and sprayed it all over our Christmas tree. Uh, why? Why? 
So they saw a bug on it, which they didn't. <laughs> and then I went upstairs and the attic was pulled down. The attic steps, and that's, that's where all the Santa, all the Santa Claus, Claus was hid, hidden. And they had been up in the attic and seen all the Santa Claus. It was an awful day. What do you mean? A whole bunch of Santa Clauses? You know, like... No, like the where, the oh, the were, oh, where the toys were the toys were hidden. Which one... Which kid gave you the most trouble? William. Really? Really? Did Even, I really? Don't you think? I yeah, mean, overall... All, he's okay. He's okay. More he, than Selden? Not when he was young. Yeah. One time he... William and a buddy dressed up a dummy and they would... What? Throw it out in the street when cars would come by. You, oh my god! You lay it out in the street for cars to think it was a dead body in the street. Yeah, that well, was one time they put it in the middle of the road that where my sister lives, and this woman came up, thought she had hit a person, and she's screaming. My brother-in-law comes running out of the house. Oh, and they also put blood on it. How'd y'all do the blood? Oh, the youth director at church taught him how to make the blood. I go, no, I go to the youth director and say, I'm so worried about this child. He's got this dummy. He's been throwing it out. And he puts blood and he gets this look on his face. And he said, I'm the one who taught him how to make the blood. What did you make it out of candy, sir? Like on screen? How did you? I mean, you... I can't remember, honestly. It's so funny you actually did that. I always just used ketchup like an idiot. You know, I didn't. <laughs> in Scream, didn't they say they used candy syrup? Yeah, it's it's corn like syrup? corn syrup mixed with yeah. uh, dye. Red, dye red dye and something else. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And y'all had your camel hair coat on the on the thing. Camel it was hair. Dillard's. Yeah, it was like a blazer. It was Dillard's. Oh. Did uh, William ever get suspended from school or ever get in fights in school? No. I've got a good story. Oh, yeah. about school he William was in a class and there was a bully in the class oh my god this is a great <laughs> this story. is a good story and it has to do with bottoms oh, like in yeah. a Francis a Francis. bottom like being gay no <laughs> this is a pretty good story when it, whenever I try to start a story Francis interrupts me so I'm going to tell this story don't interrupt. Okay, he does but, that's what I've been witnessing all but week but tell it right okay <laughs> tell it correctly into it. so William's in in 8th grade 8th eighth or ninth grade yeah. he was in a class and there was a bully in the class and every morning when they were in the class waiting for the teacher to come in the bully would take William's no. the bully come on I'm going to hit it once the bully quit interrupting William shut up <laughs> So when they were waiting for the teacher to come in, the bully would take William's pen and <laughs> put it in his mouth and lick it. What? Yep. And he, and did, he, he he'd did steal th- them too. Yeah, and yeah. and he did that. Kevin Cook, that piece don't, of shit. Don't. Gosh, who, he's going to come kill us now. No, he's not. He's a fucking oh, piece of gosh. shit. Be quiet. Here, here's, okay. the re- here's the rest of the story. And so William finally got tired of that. So one morning, William goes in the restroom, takes a pen slides it all around in his bottom and then he goes into the class puts the <laughs> this is pretty funny i even have to admit he put goes in the class they're sitting there he puts the pin down wait 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 you've got to tell Shit. one thing no but one thing is but listen listen two of, his, two of his friends alex rayner and somebody else didn't believe he did it so they smelled it okay That's so anyway part he goes in there, he's sitting there, they're waiting for the teacher, he puts the pen down, the bully gets the pen, does it all in his mouth as usual, takes it, and then what, did you tell him you had done no, that? He what t- happened? He tasted it. <laughs> what happened, William? No, I mean, he, I remember he wasn't at school the next couple of days, and then when he went back, he shoved me up in the lockers. Didn't Garrett. he start a fire and get thrown out? I the think next it was yeah, year, eventually. the beginning of the end for him. Yeah. But it was a horrible... White was, dude... Yeah. yeah. Wow, that's yeah. great payback, man. That seems like something I would have done. So, so he didn't notice that it tastes like ass immediately? He did. I don't think he, he did. He threw up, remember? You're adding that part. No, I didn't. I thought he went in the bathroom and threw up. Anyway, it was a good gag. <laughs> Does he follow you on Facebook? I don't know. Last time I saw he was living in like Colorado Springs. Wow. Well, when that, yeah. one day the next year, I went to go pick up carpool and... All these fire trucks, there are like seven fire trucks at this school. And it ends up 
the kid has gone in the locker room and started a fire, which he was immediately expelled. Why? You couldn't have him back. Well, something's really wrong with him. That's Francis, why. Francis, let's not be so personal about someone here on the airwaves. Come on. Anyway. Oh, excuse me. I hit I'm not trying to play footsie with your wife. I just, don't think you are. <laughs> I can't support it. But I ain't got the money to support your wife. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't got no lawyer money yet. We got to work hard for our money. Mr. Larry over there balling. We got to work hard. You're a little subtle baller. You're a baller over there in Memphis. You probably drive like a, S L a Lexus LS400. I have <laughs> an old Volvo. Okay. I'm, I'm, I run under the What kind radar. of car does Miss Francis drive? Tesla. What is it? Audi. Which Who's, one? Which one? A6. I love it. Q5. Oh, the SUV. Love it. Yeah. 2020? It is so much fun to drive. I knew y'all had it. I knew knew one of y'all. Well, our youngest son's car had 150,000 miles on it. So he got her old car. Which was a? A Yukon. Okay. And so she needed a new car. Nice. I like it. We're pretty low key. Low key. That's the best way to be. Yep. That's for Mm -hmm. sure. Which, do you have a favorite kid? No. We like them all the same. Really? Mm-hmm. Yep. No girls? Nope. All boys. Me and uh, his cousin hooked up a few weeks ago. Yeah. I mean, me too. She's sweet. She's yeah. a good girl. <laughs> no, we, no, we hooked up, hooked up. I'm glad you got to no, meet you her. Didn't. Yes, we did. I no more believe that. She's a nurse. She is. Yeah. We hooked. Tell her yeah. after the ice house we did. Yeah, yeah, that was the night before, and I didn't even know he hooked up the night after. It's crazy. No, yeah, for, right. <laughs> we right. Did, we did but for isn't her. she cute? Oh, she's, she's a sweetheart. She's more than she's, she's, she can she's more than cute. And she was mortified when we were talking about William. <laughs> she's like, William, is that true? <laughs> she's just freaking out. What was it? it? You don't want to know. Yeah. But yeah, I'll probably be like in y'all's family That'd soon. Be good. That's cool if I be in y'all family. Sure. Yeah. Yeah. Hook up means to meet and converse with. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Good. Usually from behind. <laughs> <laughs> Yikes. <laughs> <laughs> I talked to her dad too. Oh, did you? Yeah. Oh, yeah. We talked to him on the, on the show. Yeah, and uh, I told him I was like, you know, me and your daughter, we went out, and uh, he was like, well, are you ready to put a ring on it? I was like, hell no. <laughs> Lance is really funny. Yeah, he is. He and is. his wife is. Yeah, Mary, Mary my sister. That's her sister. Mary. What did y'all think about the prank we played on y'all during Christmas about Will? Um, I was nervous at first, but then I realized it wasn't true. But you really scared me. I believed it. It (laughs) fucked up my Christmas. (laughs) (laughs) Hey, who's that weirdo that comes to y'all house and recite Bible (laughs) verse? Who is that? That's Lance's first cousin. Jesus. He's He's a nice young man. He is so nice. He's autistic. Uh, he, he's off the spectrum. Yeah, we can tell. Or on it. I don't know what you say about the spectrum. He, I felt like he's he near was, it. I felt like he was Timmy from. What uh, did you, there? He is. Look at he him. He is looking like Forrest Gump. Savior, which is Christ the Lord, and this shall be a sign unto you. You shall find the babe wrapped in swaddling clothes. <laughs> Look at this shit. Danger. This motherfucker dressed like he helps at the Santa booth. Look like he take pictures for Christmas. <laughs> <laughs> Love you would love him. I he, wouldn't be able to be around him too long. Yeah. Once, he started, no, we, once he started talking that religion, I bet he's shit. fun. He's a nice he's kid. He's not just low key, and well, he, yeah. he can recite the hey, longest he things. Well, and also shot. he says it was the night before Christmas. Yep, the whole thing. The whole thing. Wow. Yeah, there is going to be a Christmas papa, and we look for the Humpty Dumpties on the Christmas tree. Well, That's Dumpties. what he likes to do. <laughs> what? How old is he? He's, he's 57. 50. Oh my. And y'all 57? Called, and y'all yeah. called him a young man? Well, I didn't. He's he, not. <laughs> <laughs> he's too old for that shit. Autistic or not. I know a lot of autistic people. That well, they're different. He's a good boy. Yeah, he's fucking... Good see, man. and now this is all... <laughs> yeah, good boy. Mary, <laughs> Mary and Lance are going to see all this. They are. Well, Nothing's okay. bad as being said about Dan. Uh-uh. He's a nice He's boy. nice. Except that he was dressed like wrapping paper. <laughs> <laughs> Well, sometimes he plays the keyboard the whole time. Oh, oh God. Man, we gotta get some of those videos. I know. Jesus. I remember that. Yeah. <laughs> I remember Elvis. that. Elvis. Hawaiian Elvis. Does he work? His... Yeah. Where he works he? for a landscaping company. I bet he works hard as He shit. does. And he also cleans the church. He's mm. got two jobs. 
Wow, he got kids? No. no. I don't know. Kids. He's single. Gotcha. Yeah, because uh, I remember one time they let my uncle, who has special needs, they bought him like a prostitute. Did and, they really? Yeah, and he almost fucked her to death because oh they don't know gosh. boundaries. Oh they don't know where to stop. <laughs> 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 they, they don't know when to stop. <laughs> you got a seventeen thousand dollar bill for that one, right? For that prostitute because he did it so much. Yeah. See, that's a joke. Oh. Yeah. Oh, I guess. Oh. Hey, I got some questions from from uh, the chat room uh, for you guys, if you want to... Yikes. There's a to? chat room? Yeah. Uh, somebody wants to know, William, uh, Feral Nomad wants to know, William, have you, have you been mushing your poop down the shower drain your whole life? Yeah, he, do you uh, know about this shit? Gosh, what have we produced? <laughs> <laughs> Seriously. That's a newer thing. I've been doing it probably the past 10 years. He's kidding around He's everybody. Kidding. He doesn't actually. Yes, he does. Yes, I do. Yes, he does. No, he doesn't. Yes, I With his do. foot. With my feet. He does. His... I do do in the shower Gosh, now. stop. I do do in the shower and I do wait, down with my feet. Have you did it at the house? Yeah. Layer, I mean. Yes. Oh, God. He's got, lying. I've been do doing it for believe. 10 years now. <coughs> you got shit in your shower drain. I always thought that was brownies. Shit. It tastes like. <laughs> I can only imagine how William shit smell. He don't eat nothing stop, but fast food. Stop. Oh. It's like bacon eggs. He's he's gonna do better. You yeah, watch. He is. He is. He My is. Boy. We fed him fruit the, the whole time. Yeah, you I fed some to... good fruit. Your skin looking a little better. Is it really? It, yeah. it, it is. I you, agree. You look, you, I mean, like you don't have that sweaty look. You look good today. You know how like you look. Yeah. You look clammy. You don't have that today. You look great. I agree. I, I, need, like, yeah, I, need, I need them to come here once a month. Yeah. We're, we're coming to. back soon. Yeah. Yeah. Make and he's sure. going to do great. There in we the meantime. go. I, I want the best for this motherfucker. Thank you. We, yeah. got, we got a solid meeting next week. That's great. Yeah. So we got some big things popping for the podcast. So uh, that's exciting. Trying to get William out of the storage unit. That's exciting. Not thank that he y'all. lives in one, but yeah. <clears throat> thank Red Band. Me and Red thank Band you. been on it pretty hard. Yeah. Uh, yeah. We'll stay on it. Yeah. You know. I like being dog. on it. Uh, so, uh, oh no, it's Aaron asked, did William ever have any imaginary friends growing up? No. I don't no. think he did. Not at all. Remember EO, my elephant? Yeah. He didn't have any friends but imaginary was... or real. <laughs> That's hilarious. I he got held a... back. I had to go to transition. Oh, you, what, what grade did you get hold, held Between back? Between kindergarten and first grade. I got what? third grade. You had third grade? Yeah. I'm my, my parents got divorced and I switched school districts. And back in that time, no one ever even heard of divorce in Ohio. So they were like, well, this is all new to us. Uh, you might want to hold them back just in case. We don't know what's oh going to happen. Oh, my gosh. Where, where in Damn. Ohio are you from? Columbus. Oh, okay. So are you an Ohio State fan? Oh, yeah. Buckeye yeah. all the way. Yeah. Um, here's hey, another question. What's in an enema? Can we drink a little bit of that? No, no it's just salt Hell water. No. Let's drink a little bit, Will. I want to use it later. Let's I want to try it. one out. I want to taste it. You want to taste it? Will? I want to no. taste it too. All right, let's give open it to it. me. Open it. Let's taste it a little bit. I bought it. Give it to me. Do not open it. <laughs> no, it's, ser- it's probably toxic. Don't open if it. If it goes in your butt, it can't be. Yeah, I don't think. I wouldn't think if Do it goes not. in your butt because your butt doesn't have a filter. So Red it has Bayon, to- get your present back. Give me my present back. I want to use it. Are you going to drink it? Don't drink. I want to use it on Janice. You're not gonna drink now. No, Janice wants it. Oh, she gosh. texts me and goes, "Can I please use it?" Good, good. Here you go, oh, Janice. Gosh. Get your in them. At, at first, I, in this at first, I thought it was a nasal flush. It looks like one. What do y'all? How do y'all feel about the coronavirus? I do not drink that kind of beer, so I'm not oh, really God. that worried about it. <laughs> <laughs> I did see something today though on the internet that a steward, a, a, a flight attendant. At LAX, tested positive. Are you serious? Yeah, I yeah. promise. What I saw. That. I bet airline? it's about to start you know? spreading around. Here. It did not I say what know. airline, oh, but God. that really was a headline. <clears throat> I mean, every few years we have an outbreak of something. Not it's, of this, though. Yes. Do you not remember the SARS outbreak? Yeah. Oh yeah. And but H one N one. Yeah. And then the the swine flu. Yep. Mm-hmm. But I the, mean, people. More people die of regular flu exactly. than this shit. Oh, uh, that's year. what I've been saying. A hundred thousand. Yeah. That's what I don't understand. I mean, I just believe it's the government's job to keep us in paranoia so that they can, you know, 
And now they're like, oh, we spent $1.5 billion on Oh, Amazon. guess who's texted me? Who? Tony. Hinchcliffe? Yeah. What is that? Get up to your microphone. Hold on. <laughs> Let's see. That's so sweet. We got, oh, he must be watching this. What do you say? Meet me in West Hollywood at my place. I think he <laughs> says your jokes. He says, does he think this is you? <laughs> he thinks your jokes are amazing. He doesn't realize this is my phone. Thank you very much. Look at Tony. I, I could give you the rest of my Steven Spielberg ones. That I yes, I want to hear the Yeah, rest. those were yeah, good. Rest Shout out to my boy Tony, man. Golden Pony, the one who kickstarted <laughs> his whole Brothers in Cursive. Yeah. Thank I you, know. Tony, thank you. for everything you've done for William, and thank you, Red Band. We very much appreciate it. Okay. Here were the ones that I marked out. And I made these up, but I looked on the internet. Oh, gosh. Are we going to do this again? I looked on the internet, and there are actually movies called these things, but I thought I made them up. Okay. Here we go. Star Wars. <laughs> Schindler's Dick. <laughs> Schindler, Schindler's Fist is a real movie. Yeah. yeah. Schindler's yeah. Fist. <laughs> Jurassic Park, uh, E.T. the Extra Testicle. Oh. I really thought I made that up, but there was a Cheech and Chong movie called Eddie Torres, the Extra Testicle. Mm. Uh, so I didn't use it. Uh, who effed, I'm not going to say that, Roger Rabbit. What does F stand for? Frankenstein? Fudge. Something like that. Uh, French fries. Indiana Bones in the Temple of Boom. <laughs> uh, that's it and I made them all up and my youngest son and I did but I looked them up and damn if there aren't real movies called this stuff oh, yeah. it's crazy Ed Banger wants to know do you guys believe in ghosts or uh, aliens I believe in ghosts because you've seen one Jesus talked about ghosts Seriously. Don't you remember in college you won your debate or whatever because I found you the scripture, which is true. Yes. What do you think about those things, Francis? I don't know. You, y'all's house is haunted, and I thought you didn't believe in ghosts, but you did, Baba. There was that lady who was haunting our house. I, I thought right when y'all moved in, you heard somebody walking around in the attic. They've seen a few ghosts at the comedy store lately this past week. Really? Yeah. Who? Oh. Uh, multiple people. Like anybody no. I've heard of? I've felt them, but I haven't seen them. But I like that paranormal stuff. I like aliens and ghosts. And Don't you think? My sister saw a UFO. I like it. I wish I could when see When we one. were young, it flew right up to her bedroom one night. <laughs> no, that was a... Uh, That's Jeff. <laughs> she, <laughs> still, yeah. she still swears by it. Did it flip by the window? Hold on. Y'all used to play the Ouija board, didn't you, Mama? That, was, that wasn't a UFO. That was a drone. I wouldn't know. The Ouija board's very bad. I have a good UFO story. Well, let's hear it. One time in high school, I played baseball in the summers. I was mm-hmm. a baseball player. And after our summer games, we'd go drink a ton of beer, and we'd smoke pot, too. How old were you? I was 17, 18. Oh. What are you doing? Calling Mary. Oh, okay. Right then I, I'll tell you want me to story. hold up. Tell your story. No. Oh, no, no, William. No. No. <laughs> no. William just asked for a joint. So, Don't. no. Uh uh-uh. uh. Mary. Mary. Right up to the speaker. Oh, right. hold on. Yeah, put it right what, here. What, I have to do it right here? Put the bottom part. You're right. on no, this. Bottom, put the bottom. Right yeah. here? Let me show you. Let me show you. Let me show you how to do it. Do it like this. So, you want to do it like this. Is it on speakerphone? Okay. Yeah. So, you want to have it up there? Mary, can you hear me? You're on the show. Uh, tell them about the. Tell them about um, seeing the UFO that flew up to your window. How did that subject? Because someone up? has call, done in saying, "Do you believe in aliens?" And I tell them about it just real quick. Well, first of all, I'll have to say I don't care if you believe me or not because I know it's true, and it's true. I was looking out my window and a circle of light was way up high that like the the circles were going around and around and around and I didn't know what it was and then (laughs) real quickly like real real fast it was way way up there and it shut down what season was it it, what color red no season summertime season what season mary 
Huh. I think it might have been summertime. I you, think there were leaves on the trees. I don't remember you saying it was red. Did it? Didn't it look right in your window? No, it didn't look. Now you're ex, you're making. It, <laughs> <laughs> no, it did not look in my window, but it went down. Francis, you remember how the backyard in the little open area it like covered. It so it it landed in our backyard. No, it did not hit the. It didn't go to the ground. It it stayed there. It just stayed there. Well, believe it, me, it was looking at you in the window. Well, do you want me to tell you another story that's real weird? Our house we lived in was a converted. It was a barn. It had been a barn, and they made it into a house. And my room was the hayloft, and my window was like the hayloft with uh, window. Well, <laughs> later I heard of another person. Who, I can't remember what state she was in, but she would gr- uh, visit her grandmother. And she lived in a converted barn house and a UFO, and they came to her. Well, they like that- converted barns. <laughs> 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 they like barns. I, I, I- <laughs> Guess who has been on the, the screen here? What screen? Uh, the, the, the screen that's in this room. TV. Diane. Oh, that's so nice. Oh, okay, bye. <laughs> bye. Oh, yeah. There you go. There you go. As he washed his paws, he thought, oh, goodness, <laughs> no one gives a gift to Santa Claus. <laughs> he ran to get his pretty cheese. Yeah, he had found it. The paper from some... <laughs> that is the weirdest shit. Then over all the rooftops, on a journey with no end, Away they went together, Santa with his tiny friend. And so this Christmas, if you wish, beneath the tree that's in your house. That look, didn't rhyme. He looks like he has sweaty palms. <laughs> he doesn't. I just imagine him shaking my hand very hard like this. Oh, look. He found that. Oh, I yeah. don't know why people... So she was going to... Uh, she was on a flight from uh, South Korea, and she also was in, like... Dubai or something like that. I don't understand why people wear those masks. They don't protect you from yeah, anything. Yeah, does that help? No. It, so the mask is used to protect people from you. It's not used vice versa. Those are not the right masks to protect you from any airborne anything. Red Band, you had a mask on on your Instagram. Yeah, mine has is for that. This, I these saw kind that. Of what it, are not. Uh, I bought it because uh, Janice's allergies are so bad. So the ones I have, like little filters in them and stuff like that. And you also should wear, like, she's wearing sunglasses with it because this, the coronavirus can get, uh, it goes through, like, your port, like, yeah, like your yeah. eyes or yeah. your, your mouth or something like that. Well, I was reading today that half the people that have been diagnosed have zero symptoms. Really? So you can be going around asymptomatic, mm. which is sort of scary. happening here. I wonder if it does. Here's my UFO story. So anyway, we finish a baseball game. It's in the summertime. We drank a lot of beer. We might have smoked a little pot. We're laying on a golf course for some reason, just looking up at the sky. And right above us, about 30 feet, was this multicolored, gigantic craft as big as a football field. And we were absolutely convinced. What? You've never told me that story. Yeah. We were absolutely convinced we were about five minutes away from an anal probe. Oh, and gosh. Are you serious? I, I yeah. I can't do this. And then all of a sudden, across the bottom of it, it Stop, says, Larry. buy Goodyear <laughs> tires. It was, a, it, was a, it was a blimp. I'm not kidding. But it was real. That really happened. Don't say stuff like that. Don't whisper. You can't whisper. Yo, why are you whispering? Look at Miss Francis. I like Miss Francis and Mr. Larry. Have you ever heard of the Whisper song from the Yin Yang Twins? Play it right quick. Can we get a little snippet? <laughs> yeah, that'll be good. One. Let's karaoke. Y'all got to do it with us. Whisper song karaoke. Y'all got to yeah, participate. Yeah. I don't know what the song is, though. It's going to say the words karaoke. Karaoke, karaoke. No, karaoke. Yeah, instrumental. Oh, we need the words. All right. Karaoke. <laughs> there we go. All right. Hey, turn it up. Y'all ready? Who's starting? We're going to all do it. Yeah, let's all do it. I don't 
can't do hey, that. Hey, how you doing, doing little mama? mama? Let me, let me t- t- tell you something that you like to hear. You got a sexy yeah. ass body and your ass looks soft. Mind if I touch, touch it and see, see if it's soft? No, no I'm, I'm just, just playing. playing. Let's just say I can. And I'm never going to be a real nasty man. And they say a close mouth don't get fed. So I don't mind asking for your head. Okay, stop. You can stop. You can start using it. Yikes. You like the fuck. <laughs> Do a slap of ass, cut the sex, gears rough. Switching the position. They're ready to get down to business. You see what so you can see miss. William, like, you don't know how to do it. Like, like I know this. I can't. Wait, so wait till you see, see my, my dick. dick. Hey, bitch. Stop. Wait till you see my dick. Stop. Wait till you see my dick. Stop. Hey, bitch. Yikes. Wait till you see my dick. Beat that pussy. Stop. Stop. Y'all got to stop that shit. What do you see? Stop. <laughs> yeah. Gosh. Turn it back up, man. That's the, uh, turn it back up. I like this part. Turn it back up. I like this part. Yeah, that was good. Bam, 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 bam. Beat that pussy. Uh, <laughs> no. Beat the pussy up. No. Beat the pussy up. Yo, 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 Beat yo, the pussy yo. up. Beat the pussy up. No, please. Beat the pussy Stop. Up. Stop. I'm taking this off. Get it off. <laughs> Yeah. Oh. What's what's a what's a song y'all like that we can karaoke? Yeah. What's your karaoke songs? What, if, oh, he's got a karaoke song. No. What are y'all's? But what is yours? Y'all's. Y'all are the guests. What how about how about Southern Man by Leonard Skinner? Ooh. Southern, Southern Man. We're all Southern men here. I thought Southern Man was the... Uh, uh, no, he's thinking about... Uh, Neil Young. He's thinking no, what about, am I thinking? Yeah. Yeah, it's not called uh, Southern Man. It's What's called, it called? Uh, uh, Ramble, not Rambling Man. Uh, What's that called? Sweet Home Alabama? No. It's where... It's a great... It's Southern Man, that's what's his name. I'm not, not Southern Man. I'm sorry. It's called... Uh, I know what you're saying. Uh, it's called uh, Simple Man. Simple Man. Simple Man. Put in Simple I'm Man. I'm sorry. Yeah, let's get those words off the... Darn it! <laughs> there we go. Let's do it, y'all. Y'all ready? Yeah. This is family friendly. Yeah, it is. Mama, Turn. put the things back on. Yeah. Beat that pussy up. Beat that pussy up. Mama told me. Yeah. Oh, a so long good. time ago. <laughs> that is so That's- good. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, here we go. This is the longest opening ever. (laughs) Mama told me when When I was young, come come sit beside me, my only son, and listen closely (laughs) to what I say. And if you do this, it will help you some sunny day. Oh, yeah. Oh. Take your time. Don't live too fast. Troubles will come and they will pass. Grow up a woman. It takes forever to get to the chorus. And you'll find love. And don't forget, son, there is someone up above. And be a simple. This is too long. Me, <laughs> right, can we can. can we get uh, one request right quick? Oh yes, I will. Can we do my uh, karaoke DMX party up? Oh, DMX party up. Karaoke. Is that gonna be that another one, one, one that we? Have is that gonna? Yeah. No, it's not crazy. You uh, know, it's not crazy. No, right? that's a good one. There we go. Y'all can do this one. 
Hey. Y'all ready? Y'all gonna make me lose my mind. You ready? Y'all gonna make me lose my mind. Up in here. Up in here. Y'all gonna make me go all out. Up in here. Up in here. Y'all gonna make me act a fool. Up in here. Up in here. Y'all gonna make me lose my cool. Up in here. Up in here. If I gotta bring it to you, cowards, then it better be quick. And all your men's have been to jump before suck my dick. And all the mother catch you run with, you're done with, you're done quick. How the fuck you gonna cross the dog with some bum shit? There go that gun click, now one one shit. I will look some dumb shit, ain't that some shit. You niggas remind me of a strip club. Because every time I come around, like what? I just gotta get my dick up. And I don't know who the fuck you think you're talking to. But I'm not him, alright? So watch what you do. Or you gonna find yourself buried next to someone else when we all thought you loved yourself, but that couldn't have been the issue or maybe they just saying that now because they miss you maybe they tried to diss you that's why you laying on your back looking, looking at, at the, the roof, roof of the church, church. preacher, preacher telling, telling the truth and it hurts, hurts. alright y'all gonna make me lose my mind up in here up in here y'all gonna make me alright we go y'all don't remember that song I like a DMX song I forget what's what your favorite is, so. uh, rap song to do like karaoke? rapper song rapper song rapper. Yeah. gosh I don't know What's yours, Miss Francis? Um, a rap song? You like that. I don't like rap songs. Loving you is easy. <laughs> no, that's what I beautiful. <laughs> and everything. Al Green that I do. Al Green is my favorite Which one? person. Give me a song. Oh, I like them all. Put Al Green karaoke in. Let's do it. No, no, you don't I'm have so to do that. I'm so tired of like, being alone. I'm so tired. He's from of Memphis. Being alone. He's from Memphis. He preaches now. He runs yeah, people yeah. off the road. Does he? Yeah. Doesn't he? Why are you not saying? He got in trouble. He did? He didn't I'm, get in trouble. I'm so in love with you. Whatever you want to do, do is all right with me. Because you make me feel so brand new. <laughs> I want to spend my life with you. <laughs> Redman is horrible. He the youngest one. Since we've been together, ooh, loving you forever is all what I need. Let me. Be the one you come running to. I'll never be a true. Oh, baby, let's. You sound good. You let's good. stay together. <laughs> you really do. Loving you, weather. Weather. Times are good or bad, happy or sad. Oh, God. Right, man. <laughs> right. Ooh, that was good. Yeah, yeah that was fun. <laughs> Any more questions? Uh, yeah, sure. Uh, let's see. Because we're going to have to make them freestyle to get out of here. Oh. Well, we That's on the way to get in the episode if y'all freestyle. <laughs> oh, Lord. Uh, I want to hear the N word and the B word. <laughs> no, I'm talking about negative. And, Do you remember uh, William's book. first girlfriend? Or meeting his yeah, first girlfriend? The first sweet. girlfriend, she fell off the back of the bleachers, and he laughed at her, so she broke up with him. Remember her? <laughs> I don't know if that's true. <laughs> don't use any names. <laughs> I remember the, what you're talking I forgot about that. But the girlfriend that... Can I say names? No. Sure. Yes. The girlfriend that I absolutely loved and wanted to... To be my daughter-in-law was oh. Haley Hillis. Love, love, loved her. Don't what happened to her? She is. Where's... She she broke up with him because they dated for four years, and he went running off to where the first time. Wyoming. Wyoming. Wow. <laughs> but I to thought, the gas station. But I thought that. they were going to get married. What? I should have three grandchildren by now with Haley and William. What happened, William? Why? 
I don't you know. Do? I think it got oh, to the point where I was going to graduate from college and I didn't want to necessarily Gosh, immediately get into something. Her. And I didn't know what to do. So I got a job working at a gas station up in the Tetons of Wyoming. I may have running a picture away of her. from she it. Was, I didn't want to get into something. She was she was yeah. absolutely she sweet was girl, good girl, fabulous Cute. looking. Are you still friends with her on Facebook, William? I think so. Maybe you should reconnect oh, with her. Yeah, see. exactly. I agree. Every now and again, we communicate. Did you smash? They communicated yeah. just a minute no, ago. No, we used to smash hey, all the time. Come on, don't be talking don't smash. Don't say that. Smash <laughs> all the time. Don't do that. <laughs> Don't say that. We used to smash all the time. That's he disrespectful. Did he, Stop. Did y'all hear on the podcast about the time he had sex in y'all bed when y'all were out of time? Oh, gosh. No. Stop. We, no. <laughs> I'm not don't. doing this. I'm not kidding. We'll leave. We'll never be able to sleep on that bed again then. No, don't. It's just, you can't talk about stuff like this. Seriously. He told me. I didn't know. God. <laughs> In uh, the time him and uh, don't uh, say uh, it, uh, just stop. Uh, stop. No more. Stop. Right. Uh, so, uh, William, did you when you left? Was it just because you had been in the relationship too long and you thought you needed to get out? No, it, it was yeah. totally still positive. You guys was, fighting or no? It was totally still positive. I just thought I was at the point where I was. The next step was marriage, and I didn't want to do that. I I, I, I understand. I've been there. Here are two. Yeah, other I just boys. got on out of it. Those are our two other ones. That's the other lawyer? Yeah, the one, and then the one has red hair like William. Yeah, he looks like a lawyer. No, the dark-headed one's the lawyer. Yeah, I know. Uh, Holden does not look like a lawyer. He looks like he listens to a lot of rap, and he uh, he does has two or three black friends that he hangs with all the time, and he wears Jordans and ripped jeans. No. He doesn't wear Jordans <laughs> doesn't and ripped jeans, but he's got <laughs> black friends. <laughs> I'm Will's only black friend. In uh, LA, right? Yeah, normally I don't. Well, you're a good one to have. <laughs> <laughs> Did you ever get caught shoplifting, William? I remember getting caught stealing in the first grade, and y'all got mad at me. Remember that? A keychain. I was stealing stuff out of people's backpacks wow. when the parents were picking us up. <laughs> and y'all were talking to me up what, in my bedroom. What was the worst thing Will did in high school? That you were he just. Wasn't, like, I, I he never was thought really he was decent. He was, he was okay. And everyone loved him. He had a million friends. It was you when did. he became an adult that... Yeah. yeah. He well, would get on the stage at their school He went to that he went to and cause the whole place to get laugh and laugh. So I what, mean, you, he entertained that school. What was the worst adult thing outside of the cave? The I got that weed of, charge when I was a junior in high school and y'all grounded me off second semester. Remember that? Did you? I, I, yeah. I, I blocked that out of my mind. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I was granted all of second semester of junior year. I don't remember that either. Yep, I remember it. You trying to put some stuff on your gangster card? How was it disposed of? How was what disposed of? The pot charge. The guy in your law firm got me off, but he ended up being addicted to crystal meth and uh, crack cocaine. Oh, gosh. That's we true. better stop this. We had a guy in our law firm, good young lawyer, but he did a lot of criminal work and... Unfortunately, one time he got paid with drugs and tried them, and that was it. That was the end. Sad. Very sad. My, uh, one of my uh, favorite teachers uh, in elementary school, I went to a, a great elementary school. She got addicted to cocaine, and uh, was it crack? But it took her out young. Yeah, mm-hmm. it's sad. Very sad. Uh, it's, I, I, hate, I hate drugs like that. Like, I don't mind weed and stuff and shrooms. Shrooms doesn't make you leave your family. Neither does acid. Like right. crack and meth and bath salts and shit. Yeah. There's a 12 after that if you want to see what she looked okay. like. There, there she is. Yeah. I, uh, I was hope waiting for that date. Oh, she is cute. Wow, look at her. Well, Ooh. she's got that stuff on. But, in, stuff I mean, on. she was so... Oh, it looks like she might already have some kids. No? There That's she her? is on Holy the left. Sh- Will. Come on. That's her? <laughs> yes, she was fabulous. She's fabulous looking. Damn, Will, you was in that? I was up in that. Oh, look where she's at. Come on, man. <laughs> Looks like oh, she's she... a fan of comedy, too. She was here she's at the school. Laughing Skull. Yeah. In Atlanta. Yeah. Oh, she live in Atlanta? Yeah. I think That's it's time for you to reconnect with her. About <laughs> why, don't you, why don't we call her right now and you could ask her on the date? <laughs> <laughs> 
Or I don't know. <laughs> I don't know if we should. Your mama do that. could talk to her. I I think that could all just be weird. Yeah, that could be. <laughs> okay. I well, she's she... cute. I'm about to go follow her on Instagram. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to do it right now. She's a real nice girl. Go all the way down. I want to see some more pictures. I got to follow her first, just in case me and Janice don't work out. I've got really. <laughs> cute. Will that? I cannot believe that. Oh, Will. There's a, no well, he on. was. He, William was the cutest thing. He's, he's about to be he's, again in about Will, give me some, bro. three months. <laughs> hey, bro, I'm shocked now, dog. I got faith in you, man. Look at her dog. It looks like Gizmo. <laughs> and they dated for four years. Will, now that I, now that I see what you used to be smashing. Stop. Don't say that. Uh-oh. Uh, here's your competition right here. The, the guy behind, he's nice. He was in my fraternity. But right, I see. I don't know the guy in front. Oh, my God. So, do they know the story about the uh, butt chugging at your frat? Ugh. <laughs> if she's having sex with that. Yeah, you, you, you have nothing to worry about. Look at this. She might be gay now. You see that rainbow? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Will, you gay. Well, is she like, what, 5'8", Will? She's pretty tall, huh? Yeah, what was she, 5'6", or 7", or something, maybe? She's a really nice girl. Yeah, and maybe they can get together we just again. That'd be her. great. Uncle Bobby's song. That sounds like slave music. <laughs> hey, I mean, picking any, picking any, picking any. Can we get in trouble? <laughs> no, it's called free Could use. Could she like sue y'all? No, for it's free putting... use. Pu- Instagram is a public domain. Yeah, she unless puts you had... that out there. Yeah. When you put it on there, you sign all your rights away. People okay. can use it to do whatever they want to do. But they're not saying anything. Oh, she does real estate now. She's pretty. Yes. No, she right. works for a big. I'm not going to say the name of the company, but a good big company. She has a good. She job. got a fabulous. Hey, she like Cat Williams. She like black people now. <laughs> wow, she uh, she's got a good job. Yep. She worked. She got a she's great pretty. job. Yep. She yep. get food stamps. Yep. Well, I ain't get a <laughs> sure, she has one. delicious feet. Well, I love her. <laughs> what does she? <laughs> I don't know. What does she smell like, Will? Yeah. What do you remember? Stop her it! Don't do any. Weird was anything. A, uh, Don't like? say uh, it. Uh, no, it was a... Uh, Lavender and sage? No, it was a kind of perfume she would wear. It was a uh, polo Lauren blue or something. Mm. The thing was blue. What she taste like? Yeah. Uh, okay, we're done. Like bologna sandwiches. <laughs> what time is it? <laughs> like a nice bologna sandwich. <laughs> Do you think she ever... Lo- I doubt she ever looks at it. She'll never know she was on this. Oh, I'm, I'm somebody sure everyone's going to tell her. Yeah, somebody she knows is going to see it. Yeah, but do you think somebody she knows watches this? This podcast is very popular, ma'am. It is. Y'all got, yes. what, 10000 a week at Yes, least. and we're doing 30000 on the podcast side for just listens. Oh, wow. Right? Wow. So I that's, didn't, that's yeah. visuals. Then on the podcast app side, we're doing better numbers than that. That is so good. Guy, how much money are you too. making with that new Vape Co. sponsor? Can't tell you, man. <laughs> You better start vaping. I know. Don't. <laughs> I'm gonna get into it. They just wrote me a check for a hundred grand. What do you mean, don't? Don't. I'm gonna start vaping. Should you? He should vape for a hundred. Well, instead of smoking, no. that's good. He smokes cigarettes. D- William. I Come wanted on. him. Stop. I wanted him. Listen, Francis. At the LA Fitness, I wanted him to see if they'd cut a deal where he could be sort of a. You it's know. just embarrassing you saying that. You could stop follow, saying you that. Could it's follow, embarrassing. Follow his improvement, and he maybe they would let him do it for free, but he wouldn't let me ask. Yeah, him it's that. embarrassing. <laughs> I mean, you got to hustle. It embarrasses me. Okay. All right. Baby boy. <laughs> so now we're working out on Tuesdays and Wednesdays. Four days a week. Okay. And yeah, Saturdays and, and, and other Sundays. Days when too. You get, well, Tuesdays and Wednesdays are off days. But you know, I work at the comedy store a lot. I'm on the road. Yeah. So, yeah. We want him working out at least four days a week. And he will. He, yeah. He's he got to. And he will. When I was in Canada, I did eight miles on the bike every day. That's good. That's good. Very good. He That's does 50. He does 50 at a time. A day? Yeah. He'll go yeah. out. You oh, do well, too. Outside, yeah, I do. You but, do what he yeah. does all the time. Uh, oh, that's what Will gets it from. When you're on the road, it's easier to work out, isn't it? Um, yes so. and no. How come? How? Why wouldn't it be? Seems like you wouldn't have anything better to be doing except go to the gym. I like my gym. I like being around people and seeing other people work out. Yeah. Like if, if especially if somebody's next to me, I'm very competitive. Mm-hmm. So if I got, if I was planning to do 15, 
and they're still on there, and they yep. got there around the same time as me. I'm like, all right, I'm going to beat this motherfucker. I'm going to stay on here <laughs> until they get up. Right, right. And then, like, most of the time when you're in a hotel, you're there all day into the show. Nobody's in the gym. When I was in the hotel gym, nobody was there. Nobody. So I was like, damn, I'm really down here by myself. Yeah, I can say that. But that gives you mental strength. Yeah. When you're on the road with that famous guy you've been on the road with do y'all do stuff when you're not working or? he's older so um a little bit we went to niagara falls this time i saw that um yeah. he likes to eat but uh i'm a pescatarian so i'll hang out with him but i don't really eat like what he eats he eats a lot of barbecue and shit um being on the road with tony's fun because everybody's pretty young and vibrant so we do a lot of stuff yeah us and red band we we, we go places do stuff but, I mean, you know, um, being on the road is not as fun as it sounds. It's it's work. Yeah, yeah. It's uh, A lot of people are like, oh, you're only on stage 30 minutes. Yeah, but that 30 minutes is yeah, a lot that's... of ir- – I mean, you know, it's like when I was in Canada, I literally – my first two shows, I was exhausted mentally. I was just basically going through the motions. There was, there was no emotions behind what I was doing when I was on stage because I landed at two. <clears throat> I had uh, – to get picked up from Toronto and brought to Toronto, which is an hour away, um, but it was like an hour and twenty with traffic. And then as soon as I finish with uh, getting to uh, Hamilton, we had to do radio. Some radio was from like four to five thirty, and then we had to go back to the hotel. And then the first show was at seven thirty, so it was like yeah. six fifteen, six thirty by the time we got to. The, so I literally had time to shower, change clothes, and go to the first show. Yeah, yeah. That is hard work. Oh, my God. This is exhausting. I've been around all these French-speaking motherfuckers. Uh, (laughs) (laughs) I'm like, oh, my God. Somebody get me out of here. (laughs) That sounded good, but it didn't mean anything, did it? No. Yeah. My French is horrible. Un, deux, trois, quatre, cinq, six, siete, huit, neuf, dix. That's I good. forgot about that. Preach yeah. on the cell de bon. Uh, je suis malade. Je Did you suis... take French? Yeah, I remember Haley took French. Uh, oh, she could really speak French. Haley Dirk. Her. And she would, I'd ace all my take-home stuff, and then I would fail all the tests. Because I'd get her to do all my take-home stuff. <laughs> Who's Haley? That was a the girl girlfriend. we were just talking about. We've been about. talking about. Who's Haley? Who's <laughs> Haley? What happened? <laughs> Hey, David, you're on the podcast. Oh, yeah. No, 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 no. I know. Uh, we, need, we need that beat. this time. I was checking the time, but I got to work tonight. Oh, okay. Yeah. We got to get out of here, guys. But you, only way we can get out of here is if y'all freestyle. So yeah, get ready. Red Band about to put a beat on, and Mr. Larry's going to start it off. Then he's going to pass it to Miss Francis. I'm and, not. And then, well, we can't end the podcast. We'll just be here until you won't make your plane. <clears throat> the doors are locked. Larry can. No, you are. You have to. You got to do it, too. No. You came on the podcast. These are the rules. Yeah. There we go. Mr. Larry, start it off. I work at the circus. No, I'm kidding. (laughs) (laughs) I'm kidding. I'm not going to do that. Okay, here we go. Here we go. I can't do this. Okay, here we go. We had fun at the show. But now we gotta go. Hey. William's driving the car and it scares the shit out of us. Hey. (laughs) (laughs) Miss Francis. I'm not doing it. You gotta get on the mic. No. Rock that thing just real white. Freestyle. You straight from Memphis. Emma Jean would be so proud of you if you would just freestyle. Emma Jean would love Mm -hmm. it. I really can't. Come on. I've done real well, I've talked a lot. But it sounds like you're freestyling now. You just got to say something. You, you do. Talk it, about yeah. your petunias. Yeah, do a plant. Petunias? I, procre- I procreate petunias. I don't know how to do that. I really can't. I procreate petunias. I make a nice tuna. It's begonias. Begonias. Oh. <laughs> Y'all go ahead. Go, Will. Fun, y'all, meeting my parents. I'm literally... Hold on, I got to start over. That was too slow or something. Um, it's been fun hanging out with y'all today. I'm gonna.
crash the car on the way home. I believe I'm it. I'm going to slam into a wall just You're like upset. your girl did. Oh! Oh, oh that's, the, that's the bar of the year. <laughs> he scared us to death on the way here. It wasn't that bad of driving. Y'all were acting like I was... I got a rap. Yeah. Okay. Thank y'all for coming to our podcast. We love y'all. Now y'all gotta go. We gotta get you on that plane. Don't come back insane. You gotta go back to <laughs> Memphis. You need to see a dentist. Mr. Larry got a law firm. He do that shit because he's firm. They raised William. That's why he has some issues. His mama gave him an enema and now he got trust issues. He, he won't even wipe his butt. He shits in the shower. Oh my gosh. <laughs> <He> wa- <laughs> That's good. <laughs> okay, this is enough. <laughs> hey man, we want to thank Mr. Larry and Miss Francis for coming to the podcast, Brothers in Cursive. I hope yeah, y'all still love you. us after this. All we this do. crazy. Thank you for having us. Yeah, do y'all want to go out with the uh, "Where Do You See My Dick" song? Please, no, no. no. can no. we go? No. <laughs> yeah, thank y'all. <laughs> Brothers in cursive. Are we really brothers? What'd you tell me? Yeah. Brothers in cursive. David. William Montgomery. Brothers in cursive. Brothers in cursive. David. William Montgomery. Brothers in cursive. Brothers in cursive. Brothers in cursive. That's sort of fun, I guess. I don't really know. I don't know what it means. Either you get it or you don't. Hey, Red Band, can we start all of this over? What? <laughs> <laughs> Brothers in, in person. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>